What's up guys? So I know that I said I probably won't make any more videos for the rest of the year, but something super excited happened and I had to share it with you guys. I've been saving up for this for a year, over a year since it came out. And like, you know, I had to make different purchases in between. That's why it took me so long. Um, you know, I bought the MacBook Pro a little while ago to step up my editing uh, workflow and uh, a few other, and a, a different camera body and lenses and other stuff that I, I really needed to get in between then and now. But now I have it. I was able to buy the Canon EOS R. I am so excited about this. Like I said, I've been, been waiting for this for over a year since it came out. I knew that it was going to be the perfect fit for my workflow. Um, and uh, you know, I, I know a lot of people talk about how it's not, they're not impressed with it. It doesn't fit their workflow, but everything this does fits exactly perfect into my workflow. Um, you know what? I'm gonna switch to this camera and then I'll tell you about what it has and why it fits so well into my workflow. Um, I'm gonna use the same lens that I'm using now uh, but it's going to be on full frame, so the the view, the angle is, is going to switch slightly. But uh, you'll be able to see what it looks like on the USR. Testing, testing, testing. Oh, hey, sorry about that. I was just, uh, you know, testing my audio because I can do that now. Yeah, so that's just one of the awesome features that I'm really excited about. Um, I'm sure you can tell the view in here changed because uh, I'm shooting full frame now, 1080p. Um, that's one of the, you know, full frame video is one of the, uh, new features that I'm really excited about with the EOS R. Um, and actually I'm going to call it the Canon R because that's its name. Uh, it drives me a little bit crazy. Like all of the Canon digital cameras are in the, the EOS line. So like I have the 6D, I don't call it the EOS 6D or the like EOS 5D Mark IV or the you know, EOS Rebel SO2, like it's the SO2, the 6D, the 5D Mark IV. So why do we keep thinking that we have to say EOS every time we talk about the R? So it's the R, that's what I'm calling it. Anyway, um, to kind of talk about, you know, like I was saying with my workflow versus some people not liking it for their workflow. Um, one of the things about the R is that in 1080p, it's a full frame camera. So in 1080, it films um, full frame. On the, on the entire sensor. But when you film in 4K, you get a crop and it's um, slightly more than APS-C. It's like 1.75, something like that. Um, and uh, that's like, it's annoying. Like, I, I'm not gonna lie. It would be cool for this to have full frame 4K. Um, however, first of all, I don't film in 4K. I've never had 4K up until this point. I don't feel the need for 4K. 4K takes a lot more um, storage space and therefore is a lot more expensive. Um, also, uh, Canon 1080, especially the 1080 coming out of this, I can even like see right now that it's really, really nice. Really good. So um, 1080 is what I film at, 1080 is what I plan to film at, um, especially for YouTube. like your files are getting so compressed by the time you upload them to YouTube, like it doesn't really make sense to film in 4K, like film in tight any upload in 4K, that's what I do anyway. Um, but anyway, um, that's, a, that's a big downside for a lot of people. Uh, but for me, it gives me two things in the R that I didn't have before. One is a 4K video camera which I didn't have before in any of my cameras. Another is a full frame video camera that I can use in 1080, which I didn't have in any of my cameras. I had my SL2, which uh, is again a crop sensor, so not full frame, 1080. And um, I had my 6D, which is technically full frame, but it's not really a video camera. It doesn't even have continuous autofocus in video. The codex for the video, it's a .mov file and they're, the those things are huge. It takes up way too much space. It's just not efficient at all. Um, I use it as a B camera sometimes when I needed to, but it, it's not a video camera. So now I have a full frame video camera. 
I have a 4K camera. There's, it's just such an upgrade. Another thing is, like I said, I have the 6D full frame camera that I use as my main camera for stills, for photography. And then I have the SL2, a crop sensor camera that I use as my main camera for video. So anytime that I was doing stuff, I had to have two cameras. If I was doing photography, my 6D, if I was doing video, my SO2. Now I have one camera that does photography and it does videos, photography better than the 6D, videos way better than the SO2, all in one camera. So for me, again, this is the perfect setup. I'm not gonna go into a bunch of specs and stuff uh, about the camera in this video. I'm just really happy uh, to have the camera and wanted to film something, so. Um, yeah, this, these are my thoughts. If you do, if you guys would like to see uh, me go through uh, like my experience and, and thoughts on the Canon EOS R and why it fits into my workflow so well and you know what I think about will it work well for your workflow and, and who might it not work well for, who would, be good, who would it be good for, um, put it in the comments below. Uh, let me know if you would wanna see that video. Let me know what you would want to see from that video or learn about in that video. And uh, if you guys want it, then I will be happy, happy, happy to make this video. I'm so excited to have this camera. Um, this is going to be now my main camera for this channel, for photography, for video. Like this, this is my go-to camera now. This is I'm, I'm never going to leave my side. I will probably have it next to my pillow at night when I go to sleep tonight. I'm so excited for this camera. Anyway, again, just a quick update to let you guys know, super excited about the R. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up. Again, put in the comments below, would you like to see me talk more specifically about uh, this camera and workflow? Um, if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos that I make on this channel. Thanks again for watching. See you guys and happy holidays.